Now they are left to honor the man who worked for Savannah Lives Matter and who tried to stop violence. Some friends took to social media and late today others gathered at the spot where Grant died. He was considered a positive force in the community, often seen with his familiar bullhorn, which he carried at rallies. Chantre Grant fought for justice and spoke out against violence. This little light of mine. In 2015, Grant sang and spoke at a gathering to remember a young man who'd been killed at that time. Grant's words now seem overwhelmingly sad and ironic. Another man is gone. A father, a uncle, a daddy, a cousin, he's gone again to another act of violence. We stand here for Sean Trey Grant. Those who knew and loved Grant never imagined one day they would have to speak out because he had suffered a violent death. We are hurting. We are hurting. We are hurting. We didn't come here today with a, with, with, with a speech. We just come here to let the community know that we stand behind the family. And I ask you to stand behind us by telling crime you will not exist in the city of Savannah. Many on social media reacted with shock and grief. One woman saying he was a man who fought for justice for so many others. Now who will stand in unity and fight for him? He opened a catering business a few years ago, but it seems that he will be most remembered not for what he did to make money, but what he did to make the lives of those around him better. The person that we lost last night was a pillar in this community. And what we lost last night can never be brought back and replaced. And he looked out in his community, he saw all good. So what I want you guys to do is look at these faces, look at the tears, but the fight will not stop. And the friends and family say they know that Grant will want them to just keep going, keep trying. Have we figured out what may have happened, why he might have been killed? Yeah, really very few details at this point. Police just say that they responded to a shooting and they found Grant's body. He had actually only lived in that apartment complex for about a week, by the way. It just moved in. And family and friends are pleading with anybody. If you know anything, they say, please call police.